first vlog of 2020. Let's go. guys we are out here at the cabin it is a very chilly breezy January morning and uh, it looks a lot earlier than it actually is just because it's so overcast but we have a plan today and that plan is to replace our cheap old used up deer feeder I've had a deer feeder out here now for about a year if you go back there's there'll be a video be a video up here of the original one we put up but it was just a cheap Walmart feeder the squirrels and raccoons got to it, eventually chewed around the legs and it fell over and it was just not good to begin with it was very cheap but we're gonna put a new one up today with a new and better game camera and try to see who made it through the rifle season so I know there was a few big deer out here before and uh, just want to kind of see who made it, try to pull them into the feeder, get some picks, and then we'll come back in a few weeks and see if they've shed yet, and then we'll let the scavenger hunt begin. But we're going to get dressed and warm, and uh, we're going to get up, up the hill and do this. We'll see you guys up there. Give me this stick. All right, so there's our feeder, the feed we're gonna put in it. And uh, we're gonna do this pretty close to the cabin. So I've noticed in the past few years that there's really two deer herds that use this property as a homeland. So there's a herd of deer that live almost entirely on the hilltop. And then there's also another herd deer that live back behind you guys, back behind the camera. There's this huge valley that goes all the way around the property. And there's another herd deer that live primarily in the valley but the valley deer do tend to come up and cross over the hill in a few spots. So I'm gonna try to get the best guess I can and put the feeder somewhere where the hilltop deer will find it and it's not too far off for them. But then the deer down in the valley will notice it when they come up and cross. And uh, we're just gonna do, since it's winter time, I mean, these deer are used to eating what I'm feeding them. So I feed them pretty much year-round but we're gonna still put it out there light because the feeder has been down for like two months so we'll put it put it out light make it safe for them introduce them slowly to the new food again and uh, hope that we see some good ones hope some some of the big boys made it through the season there's one deer that and the only day I sat in a stand this year I was really looking for I actually let this really good eight-point walk under me but there is a really big boy with a really awkward rack. It's really just like three main beams that go straight up. Um, 
I have one trail cam picture of him. I think I might have lost it on a corrupt SD card. I don't know. If I find it, it will be here somewhere. But I was really hoping to find him because I saw him about a week before the season started and it looked like he had an arrow through his leg from last year. And I think that's why his antlers grew weird. But I want to see if he made it and if he did, hopefully and find that cool shed because that's definitely a unique antler. But the first thing we need to do is clear a path because we're going to try to drive as far back as we can. It's already, the location's already kind of off a trail, but nothing's used the trail for a while. So we're just going to clean it up, try to get back there, and then we'll get it set up. I don't care how smart of a guy you are. It never hurts to read the instructions. We're gonna do that. Step one. It's Ikea furniture for rednecks. Well, I think it's gonna do the trick. It's way sturdier than the last one, and I like the guard on it. I can't wait to see the coons try to get their paws and shit in there. But uh, it does have camera mounts. It came with that, but I like to see how the animals are gonna interact with the feeder and well, what's trying to get in it. So I'm gonna set the camera up probably on this tree right there. So we'll get that set up and then we're good to go.
Okay, we are back. We got batteries, SD cards. Let's go get Byron and then we'll take a walk around and put up all the old cameras. And I'm actually glad that I decided to do this because apparently there's been somebody snooping around up here again. So on my drive back in, I look over at my deer stand and the whole bottom ladder is gone. So who the hell would take just the bottom ladder? I don't know, but it's weird. And we're going to put a camera up on this main trail and, and see who's coming back here. So let's go get the dog and then we'll do all that. Okay, so here's our first camp. I already hung a security one. I'm not going to show you guys where that one's at. Just in case whoever is up here messing around happens to watch my videos. So, but we have this one. I'm going to actually set this down by the feeder and kind of like hide it a little bit just in case the new camera doesn't do what I want it to and in case anybody's messing with the feeder. So, again, not going to show you where I put it, but it was here. So all the cameras are set back up, but before we leave, let's go, let's go see what actually happened to this feeder over here. Let's check out this old one. So this was one of those wild game innovations, quick set feeders. And uh, <laughs> so here we go. Here's the lid. The lid never did any good. It let so much moisture in. And then right here is the feeder. So what happened is, I don't know if it was the wind or if it was animal, but they were chew squirrels were chewing around the legs. And then eventually the container just snapped and fell over and couldn't, and the, the legs, the metal legs just went right through the actual container. Let me grab this out. Won't be needing this anymore. We'll be back to clean that up next time we're here. Who knows, maybe we can salvage some stuff from it. But. We're heading back to the city, and I just got a tip that the deer in the city parks have already started dropping antlers. So we are going to stop there on the way home. If we find anything or see anything interested, I'll include that in the outro. But that's all for today, man. We'll be, uh, we'll be back out here in like two weeks. Check all these cameras. I'll see you then.